Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Mrs. Emily Paints, and today I'm gonna be filming this video for all my girls that have endometriosis, PCOS, and fibroids. So if you suffer with these conditions, you might wanna keep watching because this is a complete experiment that I just came up with out of nowhere because I suffer from all three things. So you might wanna stay until the end of the video because I have a lot of things that can help you potentially. And just a disclaimer, obviously, I'm not a doctor. I am in no way in that industry. <laughs> so um, this is just, if you guys want to take the stuff that has been working for me to try it out for yourself, go for it. If not, that is fine too. What works for me might not work for you. So now that that is out in the air, let's get started with this video. Okay, ladies, so first things first. Let me tell you guys what I have, what's been happening, and how I've been dealing with it. So I have endometriosis, I have PCOS, and I have fibroids. Um, I've been suffering for a very, very long time with these things. And just now I have actually found not a cure, but something that's working for me. I hope that this might help some of you because I know a lot of us females have a lot of those issues and doctors don't really pay much attention to us. So it can get pretty annoying when you go to the doctors and they just tell you to take birth control. Okay, so every month I would bleed a lot. And I'm talking about a lot. My blood count would drop. I would go to the hospital. They would tell me, you're anemic, you're this. Your blood count is dropping very fast. You might need some blood. If you if you start to feel weak or something, come back to us and we'll, we'll figure something out. Or whatever the case was, that is how it was happening for me every single month. I was just bleeding out. Okay, so I've been taking these vitamins for only two weeks, you guys, and these vitamins have helped me so much. I have not been bleeding out the way that I have been for like the past, I want to say three years. I've been bleeding out every time I get it. It's just, it's been horrible, a long, 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 horrible experience. So I'm going to give you guys the names of these four vitamins. And keep in mind, I take all these four vitamins in the night. My boyfriend got these for me, you guys. He, he's been helping me out a lot. So he bought these for me on Amazon and this is called Selenium and you can order all of them all together. The most expensive one I would say is going to be the beef liver ones. I'm going to link them down below because I want you guys to check them out and I want to bring awareness to all my girls out there because I know doctors don't help us. They just give us birth control and think that that's just going to like fix everything for us. Like no. These are two of the vitamins that I've been taking. So the third vitamin is called Oyster Plus. And obviously I'm not going to give you guys all the details on what these vitamins have and what they're for because you guys can obviously just, you know, click the link below, look them up and then see what they have. The only reason why is because I don't want to make this video like such a long video. But this is Oyster Plus and I'm taking one of these. And then um, the last one is Magnesium. Magnesium, you guys, has helped me so much with my sleep because... I have not been sleeping the best since I don't feel okay. When your health is really bad, you get anxious. You can't sleep. You're just stressing. So this has helped me out a lot and it's been helping me sleep so good. So these four vitamins, you guys, the links are down below if you guys want to go take a look at them. Those, I've only been taking them for two weeks and I've definitely seen a big, big, big improvement in my body, in my eating habits, and in everything. These all together get me hungry, you guys. Like, hungry. Okay, so apart from the vitamins, you guys, I am supposed to be seeing an acupuncture doctor. I personally believe that natural um, remedies work more than what real doctors give you, like actual doctors at the hospitals or your OBGYN, whatever it is. I feel like these remedies work a lot better for me. This lady told me like, no, you need to change your eating habits. That is what's, what's causing your hormonal imbalance. And I was like, yeah, maybe she's right because I have not been eating the best. She's like, your sleep. She's like, your sleep schedule, the time you wake up, everything matters. And I'm like, you might be right. You might be onto something. So she started telling me and she was like, I'm going to give you a schedule to follow. And then when your days are coming, you come and see me and I will go and do the acupuncture for you. The, the needles, you know, that they put on your skin. So I was like, okay, it's been working really, really good. And it's only been two weeks. I can only imagine the next month. I got it like three, three days ago, three days ago. And it was extremely painful, you guys. And I waited too long to eat because obviously I wasn't feeling good and I was cramping really bad. 
So I waited too long to eat and when I started to eat, I started to want to faint. Like I started to feel lightheaded and just weak. My hands were shaking and my sugar went down. So I was like, okay, like I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink a painkiller. Uh, I did drink Midal and just so you guys know, Midal doesn't even work for me anymore. Ibuprofen, it makes you bleed more so or it makes me bleed more that's not working for me anymore and i also can't take tylenol because i don't do good with it i feel like after taking tylenol like certain body parts hurt like my leg i don't know if you've seen how my hand was messed up in one of my youtube videos with my boyfriend um a couple videos down and that is because of tylenol so that happened to my hand and it happened to my foot so I don't know why my leg and my hand were swollen, like it didn't make sense. And I think it was an effect from the Tylenol. So those medicines don't work for me anymore. I also got something new that I think you guys might be interested in because it helps with cramps too. And you can actually go to work while using this little machine because it's hidden. Like it goes on your skin and you can put it under your shirt. And nobody will see it just wear a little jacket or something this is a muscle stimulator and I saw a specific kind on on the internet and I got it actually from TikTok. but when I saw the price I was like yikes I don't know about this one what if it doesn't work for me you know like how am I gonna spend like $200 on something that might not work for me so I was like let me try something a little less expensive just to see if it works so my boyfriend being the caring person that he is went on amazon and he found this one for a much smaller price which i will link down below and i, I believe it was only like 40 dollars or a little bit less than that something like that but you might want to look into this because it, it's a muscle stimulator so you put the little pads onto your skin and it kind of like goes against like the pain so even when your back's hurting normally you can use these and it'll help you with back pain or other other muscle you know pain that you're having so what i do is it comes with these little pads and they stick onto your skin and this obviously connects to like the little machine and i started using these and i applied two of them on my lower abdomen and then the other two i put them on my lower back so these go connected onto this little control right here which comes with this and you can hang it around your neck that way you don't have to like be holding it or have it in your pocket it turns on and you can control how hard you want the little like shocks it gives to go like how comfortable you are with the little electric feeling you know it's a muscle stimulator so these two go connected to those little pads and then these two go connected to the ones in the front or wherever you wish to place them but for me it's better when i put some on my lower back and on my front area so that it, it helps my cramps also you got to practice breathing when you have this on because you might not be used to the little electric shocks that you feel so you got to take it easy the first couple of days until you get the hang of it but that's been helping me with my cramps and it's been causing for me to bleed less because the more I cramp, the more I bleed, which sucks, you guys. It's annoying. I just realized this month that Midal is just not working for me anymore. So yesterday was day two. So I went to the hospital because I just couldn't anymore. And like I, my heart rate, like I keep track of my heart rate with my watch. And it was just over 100. I was way past 100, you guys. I was like at 120 something. And I was freaking out because I kept wanting to panic because of the pain. It, it was just uncontrollable. And I had taken Midal and it didn't take anything away. No pain away. So I was just like, you know, like it's time to go to the hospital because I, I can't. So when we get there, obviously they got me in there really, really fast because I was like on the verge of passing out again. And they gave me morphine. And the morphine did work, but it wore off in like less than 45 minutes. So they told me, okay, the pain is really strong. We're going to give you another dose. So they gave me another dose of morphine. And after a certain amount of time, it also wore off. So I was just like, oh my God. And the doctor was like, we can give you something else right now for the pain. And then when you're better, then you can be discharged from the hospital. So I was like, okay. So they gave me, it starts with a T. It made my pain go away completely. So I was like, okay, I'm good to go home. And I took, I told the doctor, I was like, none of those work for me anymore the over-the-counter medication pain relievers so like what can i do and he gave me these obviously it's like a um not, i don't want to say the word but it starts with the n 
They're basically, they have to be prescribed for you to use them. They give me those kind of pills, which I'm actually on right now because I the pain is just strong. So if you guys see me kind of like go like this, I don't know where, is because it's kind of like wearing off. <laughs> so I kind of feel a little pain lingering there, like it's coming back. So those are the only medications that I got. And obviously they can't do nothing about the situation, endometriosis, PCOS, or fibroids at hospitals. They only gave you give you things for the pain. There is another thing that also has been working. Um, this is called raspberry leaf tea. And you guys can get these from Amazon. These are organic, by the way. I'll link them down below too. Okay, these, these teas are really good, you guys. You're supposed to drink them days before your monthly visit, obviously. They are supposed to help you relieve pain when it comes. So I'm just taking it every day. Every day, I take it every day for two weeks. I only skip probably like one day. And that's because I had a cough and this was making me cough <laughs> because it's kind of like a dry aftertaste. So it was making me cough and I was like, oh no, I can't, I can't. And the next goal is to take a whole month of these vitamins with the tea, the muscle stimulator. I, I like to find information on how I can better my situation because I don't want my uterus removed. They want to remove my uterus because of the fibroids and they're telling me you know if you want to have a baby have one now because we might have to take it out if <clears throat> if it gets bad and i'm just like no and they're like you can't keep taking pain medication and i'm like i know but in my head i'm i'm stubborn about it and i know that there can be a cure for this somehow naturally so this is what we're doing this is the whole point of this experiment hopefully it works and i'm excited for you guys to watch my journey because i don't even know what i'm doing sometimes with this and i don't even know where i'm going with it but i'm just hoping that whatever is new that i'm gonna be trying works and so far so good okay so i know a lot of girls have the same issues so i'm just trying to help you guys out and hopefully some of these things work for you guys and i'll be keeping you guys updated next week i will be posting another video this is just the first one i still have to go see the acupuncture lady and i will take you guys with me um hopefully she lets me film i'll ask her and i'm also going to be trying a bunch of other like new things to get rid of the pain because i got rid of the excessive bleeding with these things that i have right here but next is getting rid of the pain which i know has to do with endometriosis so we're gonna have to target that next and then next week is the next um video on what we're doing next <laughs> uh anyways so yeah you guys that is all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want more information because sometimes i go more in detail with things on my instagram go ahead and follow me on instagram you guys i would love to see you guys there um also i am going to be posting makeup tutorials still you guys don't think i'm just going to be talking about this journey so stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys in my next video bye